Hey everyone, it's Mindy from the OG Sports Network coming to you live here with 15 plays in Major League Baseball for July 9th. Hopefully you guys had a great evening. We definitely did here at OGCappers.com. Let's go ahead and make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Click on the bell to get the latest notifications. Also, you guys, please go ahead and leave your comments below. We definitely want to know who you guys are on. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on over here at OGCappers.com, where you can find our best of the best plays there. Every single day, you can see the hot cappers that are up there over the last 24 hours, the last seven days, and of course, the last 30 days. You can find your favorite capper. You can purchase one of their pick packages. We have a little bit of everything that you might like, say, I don't know, a guaranteed best bet. We have three packs, five packs, seven packs, and of course, a little bit longer term if you're looking for, say, a three-day or a weekly pass, that sort of thing. And when you do, make sure you use the promo code right here, OG20 to save you 20% off at checkout. And just remember, all of our pick packages are profit guaranteed, meaning that if you don't turn a profit, you get credits back to your account. So it is a little bit of a win-win for everyone here. But you guys, of course, are here for this 15 free picks. Uh, well, so if you're not really familiar with the show, this is how it goes, is that I give you my model. Uh, I have a certain amount of variance with the model that I compare to Vegas opening lines. And then I compare those plays, all 3,000 of them, uh, to the wins and loss column, right? So I know with a confidence factor of how often each particular play hits based off of a certain variance and a certain odds. So basically it's two models going against each other. And all we got to do is find the little bit that gives us the edge every single day. All right. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let's go ahead and bring it to the stage. First up is going to be our VIP play of the day. It is the Cubs versus the Orioles. This one here is our highest play on the board. It comes in at 68% of the time. This play will be victorious. So if you want this play, all you got to do is to go to OGCappers.com, find the OG VIP selection, and then, of course, purchase this VIP pick. And don't remember, or don't forget to use that promo code OG20 to save you 20% off there at checkout. All right, next up. It is the Dodgers versus the Phillies it should be a good one. You got Miller on the mound here for the Dodgers. 6.43 ERA over his last 14 day span, looking at about 612 overall. So maybe a little bit elevated here on the season, but not too bad. But look at, on the other hand, you got Zach Wheeler, who has been wheeling and dealing 2.84 ERA over his last three. 2.74 in this 2024 season. We're going to go ahead and go under the total in this one. You see, we have the Phillies here winning five to three. It looks like a little bit of an easy victory, but the best play on the board for us coming in at the 64.5 is going to be under that total. The Dodgers offense have kind of been failing to show up, you know, only mustering about two runs of offense. So I think this is definitely going to go ahead and keep that game under. Let's go under the total here in this one. Next up is going to be the Guardians versus the Tigers. It was a great game yesterday if you're all about pitching and defense. Uh, but look at this one. We're going to go ahead and go over the total. We're saying, no, it's not going to be that big under game. It's going to go over. We have the Cleveland Guardians here winning 5-3 to three over Detroit, coming in at 64.5% of the time. Ben Lively on the mound, 3.75 ERA. But Maeda, 11 over his last, I don't know, about 18-day period. And look at he's even at 6.71 for the season, just not getting it done. This looks like the Guardians are going to be able to be all over this. That is for sure. Guardians right now, they are hitting 8.52. So they're getting it done uh, looking at that on base percentage. So we can go ahead and take over and feel confident here in this one. All right, we got the Yankees and the Rays. Carlos Rodon, he's sitting at 9.58 over his last three starts. Yuck. 
but we look like we still have the Yankees coming up on top, five to four in this one. Uh, we got here for the Rays, 2.89 ERA over his last three, 4.4 ERA over the season here. Rays pitching looks like they might have the edge in this one. So let's go ahead and take the Rays there. On the run line, we'll take the one and a half runs. This one's coming in at 64.5% that this is the play. You can see right now the Rays offense, that overall offensive impact that I talked about, right? It's 21.1% higher than the Yankees right now. Craziness. Let's go ahead and take the Rays on the run line. All right. The Rockies and the Reds. Ah, I mean, the Reds and Rockies, they seem to be going under all the time. Looks like they're doing it again here today. Have the Reds winning four to three with an under total, 58.8% of the time. This will be the play. We have Fontrell on the mound, 6.1 ERA, 3.77 ERA, ERA overall this season here. Frankie Montas, 2.45 over his last three, 4.19 this 2024 season let's go ahead and take the under it's kind of been this reds offense not really clicking 4.5 percent lower than their season average here in the short run we also have this rockies offense that i don't know kind of failed to show up there yesterday only mustering one run there the rockies offense 11.9 percent lower right now it had to be the kansas city uh royals it's all because i'm sure they just took it to them uh, but right now, the Reds offense, they're only batting like 180 right now. I think it's definitely going to be an under game. Let's go under. All right, here we go. The Nationals versus the Mets. We have Irvin on the mound, 0.64 ERA over his three. Minute, can't find it. And then we have Jose Quintana, 1.64 ERA. Another little bitty ERA. Look at that. We're going to go ahead, though, and we're going to take the Washington Nationals here on the run line, coming in at 62.2% .2 of the time. This will be the play. I actually have the, the Nationals right now bringing home this victory, 5-3. to three. That Nationals bullpen has been outstanding, 1.37 ERA lower than the Mets over the last five game. That Nationals offense right now, they're batting better than the Mets. Uh, also, if I take a look at what we're looking at on base scoring percentage, 799. So let's go ahead and take it. Let's take the Royal out uh, of the Royals. Let's take the Nationals on the run line. Got the Royals on the brain now. All right, here it is. Our text play of the day. Game number seven, A's and Red Sox. What's it going to be? We'll tell you. All you got to do is text the word WIN, W-I-N, to 223-203-1821, and you will get this play in your back pocket to start your day off right. 65.4, this is our second highest game of the day, so make sure you go ahead and check this one out. Send me the word WIN, and we'll text you this winner. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Next up is the Royals versus the Cardinals. Brings me back to 1985. Royal starting picket pitcher is Mr. Waka, 1.59 ERA, getting it done here. 3.74 ERA this season. Uh, for the Cardinals, we got a 0.73 ERA over his last three and a four ERA over this 2024 season. Two excellent pitchers. I'm excited for this matchup. Cardinals bullpen has been pretty good. 2.595 less ERA than the Royals here in that bullpen. We're looking for a, not, not the Royals. We're looking for a Cardinals money line victory here. We're going to go ahead and get it four to three. Right now, the Cardinals, they've been putting up the on-base percentage, 963. Right now, they're 230 batting average, better than the Royals here as well. That Cardinals offense clicking on all cylinders. Right now, they are higher than the league average in run scored, batting average, and on-base percentage here over their last three. Let's go ahead and take the cards here. All right, game number nine on the slate. We have Perez here on the mound for the Pirates versus Ray on the mound for 
the Milwaukee Brewers right now. Perez 4.76 in the short term. 4.72 has been really, really steady. But Ray has been on a heater. 1.46 over his last three, which is well under the 3.34 this 24 season. Right now, the Pirates offense, they're scoring 1.5 more runs per game than this Brewers offense. So the Pirates right now are capitalizing. Just put up about six runs over their last three. That offense is 7.9% higher. Let's go ahead and take this Pirates team on the run line. That will be the play coming in at 64.5% of the time. That Pirates overall offense right now. Batting 6.1% better. All right. Oh, I think I turned it already, didn't I? There we go. Next. We got the Twins and the White Sox here. The game is going to go under this total. We have it coming in at 8, a 5-3 to three victory here by the Minnesota Twins. We have Bailey Ober, 1.5 ERA, crushing it here in the short term versus Fetty. We know he's been good. 3.75 ERA over his last three. So we're taking a look at this offense right now that's in a little bit of a regression for the Sox. 8.3% lower than the league average and that overall offensive impact, the run scored, the batting average, all that kind of good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the total under. All right. It's going to be the Miami Marlins versus your Houston Astros. We have Trevor Rogers. He has a zero ERA over his last three. 1.98 ERA for the 2024 season, crushing it here this season. Then we have Blanco on the mound for the Astros, 3.97, a little bit elevated over the 2.53. But look at we got a zero ERA over the last three. Let's go ahead and take the total under. I have this one as a three to three virtual tie here today. I think the Astros offense will once again fail to show up, keeping this total under. Under, under. Let's go under the eight and a half. Coming in at a three to three virtual tie, it will be under 64.5% of the time here with my modeling versus Vegas. Next up is going to be Rangers versus Angels. Here we got Sir Scherzer on the mound, 3.86 overall. His last three, a little bit elevated over the 2.7 here this season. And then Contreras on the mound for the Angels. Getting it done lately, ERA 4.04. It's always the Angels kind of struggling to score. My poor Angels, they just fail to capitalize on opportunities time after time after time. Only putting up about 2.67 runs here over their last couple of weeks. Uh, that Angels offense is 16.8% lower right now than the league average for run scores, batting average. And that would be considered a slump, you guys. Let's go ahead and keep this one under the total. I have the Houston, Texas Rangers. <laughs> Someone yelled at me the other day because I saw the big T and I called them the Texans. Ah, uh, but it's the Rangers, you guys, the Rangers and the Angels. Let's go under this total, 58.8% of the time. The Rangers. All right, the Braves and the Diamondbacks. We got Sale on the mound again today. Uh, 1.38 ERA over his last three versus Zach Gallen. 2.7 ERA over his last three. Hey, let's go ahead and give the edge here to Gallen and the Diamondbacks offense. They're scoring 1.5 runs more per game than this Braves team right now. The offense right now is hitting 4% higher than their season average. 15.3% higher in all offensive statistical categories and putting up an 809 on base slugging percentage. Hey, let's take the D back 64.5% of the time. This will be the play. Diamondbacks run line. Let's go. All right. The battle of the S's, the Seattle Mariners versus the San Diego Padres. Here we have Gilbert on the mound, 4.76 ERA here in the short run, 2.91 overall. Mazur, 8 ERA over his last three games. He's been struggling, 7.52 ERA here this season. 
Oh, man, the Mariners pitching is suddenly looking pretty decent. It's still a little bit of trouble here getting the bats, but the Padres' bullpen has been abysmal, 5.395 ERA. That's terrible. Their offense right now, the Padres, I don't know, they might be getting it done, 8% higher than that league average. So we're looking at a crappy starting pitching, a crappy bullpen, and, of course, a Padres team that's been hitting the ball rather well. Let's go ahead and go over this total of 7.5. I have this one, a Mariners victory, 5-4, to four, so well over the 7.5, 64.5% of the time. This will be the play. All right. And lastly, it's going to be the Blue Jays versus the Giants. We got Kikuchi on the mound, 5.06 ERA, elevated above that 4.12. We have Snell on the mound. I don't know, not too much here for pitching so far this season. Injury laden, oh man. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Giants uh, starting pitching hasn't really been good. Uh, they're 9.5 runs over their season average for like the last three games. They've been giving up just a ton of offense, but suddenly it looks like the modeling saying, hey, not so fast. The Blue Jays offense right now, 8.9% lower than league average. The Giants offense right now, 0.199 batting average. And of course, the Blue Jays offense right now, 617 on base slugging. So we have an under total play coming in at seven runs. It's going to be, it looks like a San Francisco Giants victory, four to three over the Blue Jays. Let's go ahead and get some winners here today, folks. All right. Hey, that's all I got left here for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. Make sure you guys go ahead and Follow our other cappers information on the OG Sports Network YouTube channel. You can find Bo doing his video series. We have them in the shorts. So make sure you go ahead and check out his game versus game. We also have other cappers coming in with lots of plays like CJ, like Scott, like Mark. So they're all giving us some winners out there. All right, you guys. Hey, come back and see us again tomorrow. Hey, good luck.